Jess is a um, celebrity makeup artist and also an uber skin specialist. Um, she never really shouts much about how fabulous she is um, in the world of like, she's always on movie sets doing like movie stars, facials that we can't talk about. Obviously I know, but uh, <laughs> you know, and she really is just fab. She just really knows about skin. And I think for a lot of brides who maybe were getting married and have had to postpone or started their skincare regime and then suddenly been locked down, they can't go for their facials, their products that they want might not be online or stocked. Mm. And I just wanted you to come on and, you know, just give them a little bit of advice and help yeah. them along the way. Okay, well, I suppose the, the main thing with kind of wedding skin is, is allowing yourself enough time to really, because there are so many amazing, you know, obviously people can't have treatments now, but there are some amazing home gadgets and also products, more cosmeceutical products, mm -hmm. that you can get really incredible results with. How so, long before the wedding date should we start really thinking about I mean, about it depends what you're, what's wrong with your skin. If you have like a lot of skin concerns, if you, if you suffer from breakouts, if you've got pigmentation you're trying to work on, then obviously you need to give yourself longer because it's just not gonna happen overnight. Yeah. Um, but yeah, but based, sorry, I also get distracted from uh, <laughs> the little comments. Oh, I love you too. <laughs> um, and yeah, so it's, yeah, so it's good to give yourself enough time. But, you know, with a good skincare regime, even, you know, you, you want to give yourself about three months, but you could definitely see results from even a month using a good regime. Um, even just something as simple as thoroughly cleansing your skin and, you know, really looking after, really hydrating it, even simple steps, you can make a difference. Now, but I'm, then I'm you can so, come on. I'm so bad. So let's start at the beginning. The whole cleanse, tone and moisturize, is that totally essential? And also like taking your yeah. makeup off before you go to bed. Like, I'm Yes, of course it is. If you think really. all the impurities that are in your skin, the sweat, if you've been working out, yeah. the pollution, your makeup, and also sun cream. That's why you should really double cleanse because if you're wearing sun cream, which you should be, yeah. um, if you want to protect your skin, yeah. then that's really hard to break down. It's meant to be hard mm. to break down because it's protecting against the sun. But if you're not cleansing your skin, and that's when you can then start getting you know, skin problems, sensitivities, um, breakouts. So, so tell me about a double cleanse. Is that literally doing using the same product twice yeah i mean you can use the same product. product twice or sometimes what i say to people is you can use a balm initially i'm just thinking which have i got one here so you could use the balm initially because that really helps to get everything off really easy and you can do a really nice massage with it and then yeah. you can use a more specific um cleanser afterwards so if you had say your skin was a bit dull then you could use something with some enzymes in it or some aha so that you're helping to ahas are basically alpha hydroxy acid so it could be glycolic it could be um, lactic acid, um, it could be salicylic acid. Salicylic's great for if you get spots, blackheads, etc. What um what so what brands, what products? Now I know that you like lots of off the wall brands like people. Yeah, I like more professional so products. You like I love all products. Brands. But I think if you've got a concern that you want mm. to target, you have to use something more medical. So for example, the pads that I use are these ones from skin better science they're called alpha rept exfoliating peeling pads but you can only buy these through skincare professionals i sell these to a lot of my clients and they come as individual little pads like this right. peel them off and you just massage it over your face and i tend to do that maybe like a few times a week um depending on your skin sensitivity you could do it once or two or three times depending on how you need it and how it, what kind of price point is that do you know what? I think I, I think these are about these are quite expensive. I think these are about eighty something. Although I'm not one hundred percent sure. However, I do know Amanda Harrington's got some amazing pads. Oh, yes, she has with glycolic, and I think they're like fifteen. I, I'm they're a they're a lower price point. So whatever your price point, there is something you can get. Yeah. Um, and also it depends on your skin concerns. So, yeah. um, you know, you might then add something like this in but then you can go with something else that's slightly cheaper because this is acting as a more of a specialist product yeah. so you can so it's almost like looking at your finances and budgeting like if you're buying a wedding dress you might put your it's like when me and my husband when we got married i used all the money for the wedding ring on my ring so he had to budget it's not not a great ring <laughs> i think his was actually just silver <laughs> I, I ended up having the whole budget <laughs> so it's that whole thing you would just work your budget out and then sort of allocate it um, but that's why I'd say it's really important to talk to somebody, a skincare professional, if you are in a situation where you're here and you want to get to here with your skin so that you can work out yeah. a regime that's going to work and you're going to get there quickly and, you know, just give you that confidence on your wedding day.
yeah perfect so then we've cleansed so then to tone what could you recommend on the toner so there's a few, so i'm just turning around because i just put bits down here there's a couple of really nice toners i actually got sent this to try recently this is a doctor called dr gabriella yeah. It's called Magic Rain, which I just love the name. And this is a mm. moonlight dust. It's a molecular. So this uses molecules to really put hydration into the skin. Okay. This is my second one. I got sent one because I wrote about it in um, Country and Townhouse. I'm just trying to open it up. It's really refreshing. I love mists that you spritz. Yeah. Um, because I find them... Because what actually does a toner do? Well, a toner can... It's got can have a lot of skincare ingredients in it, so it can really help with hydration. So it can put hydration into the skin. So yeah. you can use it throughout the day to top up your makeup. Um, you can use it on your wedding day throughout. So if you spritz this on, like I've got makeup on now, and if yeah. I spritz this on, oh, it feels so nice. <laughs> I wish you could spray that through the screen at me. <laughs> it doesn't. You can. It, it's a bit. You can see it. My skin looks damp, but that will just settle, and it doesn't yeah. move my makeup, but it almost just brings it to life. Oh, also, what it can do is. Um, you know, just ensure any impurity, like if you're using a toner with pads, making sure you've got everything off your skin and just setting, just getting it right back to the right pH so that you can then use your product. So for example, um, I love to use a spray, but then I know other people really like to feel a toning, like a toning yeah. solution on their skin. So let me just see if I've got another nice if Whoa. you guys could actually see Nat's beauty shed, it's right at the bottom of the page. Yeah, I feel like I might just hold this up so you can have a look. So this is like one look. of my... Um, I mean, is that not heaven or is that heaven? It's just everything here. I mean, I'll tell you what else is very good. This is Dr. Marion Zamani. These are boost stamp peels, so they're like mini peels. So ah. things like that are great leading up. Now, I'm always do DIY. doing a peel at home. Yeah, but there's peels and there's peels. I mean, there's so <laughs> many amazing peels now. There's this incredible brand called Peel to Glow. Now, I've sent a lot of my clients these because they can't go and have their peels. And and we just sort of do it virtually. So you can actually do some really good treatments at home. Obviously, you're not going to use a super strength peel. But yeah, then, yeah. to be honest, I don't really agree with super aggressive peels anyway. Yeah. Because I think light... But the and... last thing we want is to come out of lockdown. Yeah, exactly. Like but, you know, so a peel could be just like I said an AHA so it could be a lactic acid it could be something that's just going to dissolve away any dulling dead skin buildup, which yeah. affects how the light bounces your skin how your makeup is applied um, and actually talking of something else which is really quite fab which I've got what here. I'm going to do is I'm going to list all these products I'm just sorry I'm sweating in here because I'm locked in <laughs> of what they actually do when we put this up on the blog yeah. so that you know what we're talking about because i know we're going through this quite quickly and by the way this is a new discovery this is, is amazing that? right so oh my god nicole this is amazing i can't this... believe i haven't seen you for so long I've i know there's so many discoveries since i saw you <laughs> so this is um it's by hollywood browser and it's a derma browser now what it does is this so if people have a lot of vellus hair and in photographs it looks quite hairy you know sometimes Funny. people can have that yeah. So what this does is it does two things. It helps remove any sort of vellus hair on the face, but it also helps to remove dead skin cells. Wow. And you can't cut yourself with it because it's, it's basically a special design, but it's almost like dermaplaning. And you work at a 45 degree angle so that you don't, the hair, then um, you shave the hair down tapered so it doesn't grow back stubbly or anything. Right. But you become obsessed with this. It's amazing. You can do your eyebrows with it. And so can, you, can you see the dead skin when you're using it? Yes, because you get like a little puff thing that you wipe it and you can see the skin cells in the hair. Oh my God. And if you so even look at the before and after, look at the before and after here, the lady with the hair there and with, you know, with there and without. So, so if you're very conscious of that. So at what stage would you do that? So we've done the cleanse, the tone, and so like as you do your cleansing regime. Would you yeah, I mean, you could do this, depending on how hairy you are, you could do it once a week. I mean, it really depends on hair growth because everyone's hair grows different. Yeah, or yeah. you could do it, um, I probably would do it a couple of days before the wedding but yeah. it's the kind of it's so i think it's like 10 pounds just under 10 pounds and it will last you three months Amazing. but they also do a super duper one which of course i've got <laughs> which um of course you have which i'm actually writing about on country and town so this is their sonic one. Oh. oh my so god that, has that got batteries in it batteries and it's sonic Ooh. honestly nicole I can't tell you the fun that I've had. That sounds a bit rude, doesn't it? I can't tell you the fun I've had Wrong with you. show. But do, do you know what? Men, back of their heads. Yeah. You know, like the neck, the nape of the neck, so for the groom. 
Amazing. Honestly, it's just great. So that's something that's not expensive and that can really make a difference to your skin. <laughs> Someone's so, laughing. So you were saying about peels before. If obviously, you know, a lot of brides probably started their regimes if they were getting married, they were going to have regular facials and this and that and the other. Yeah. What kind of peels could you suggest then? The As one... in home peels? Yes, home peels. So, well, for example, these peel pads, if you use these regularly, this is like having a peel. You're just di It's just diluted, so it's a gentle peel effect rather than having like a hardcore peel, which again, I don't really agree. Well, I don't agree with them. Unless you have a major skin concern and you're going to a doctor, a really reputable person who's doing it. Yep. So, um, so peel pads, then you can buy... Um, you can buy like AHA masks, peels. Dr. Levy has just released an incredible mask, an uh, incredible peel. Now, let me see if I've got it up here. Um, yes, of course, I've got it here. <laughs> um, Dr. Levy, this is, I actually met Dr. Levy. He's amazing. And he actually said that this, you will get like professional peel results at home. So there's different ways to use it depending on how, what your skin's like, if it's sensitive or if it's, so not that's like a cream that you put on them? It's a cream with an exfoliator, but there's different ways to use it. Oh. So you would pick what your skin needs. And I mean, it's, it's got fruit acids, um, AHA, BHA. It's just, it's just a brilliant home peel. Amazing. It's really good. Yeah. Mm. I've seen my friend Susanna. Yeah, <laughs> Susanna just came around earlier. We were helping with skin from a distance. She's like stood at the end of my drive and I'm like... <laughs> um, <laughs> oh. Now tell us about moisturizers as well. Um, because I think we can end up spending a fortune on moisturisers and sometimes you don't really know what's in them, do you? I mean, I'm a bit obsessed with, after we met Maria, her sister Fanny's, I'm obsessed with the vitamin C Rodial Souffle. I mean, it's so good. Yeah, her textures are really lovely. And I think with moisturiser, again, it's all down to your skin type. So if your skin's sensitive, you want to go for something that's just not loaded with fragrances. Um, you yeah. want to go for really nourishing ingredients that are going to really protect and soothe the barrier. Um, yeah. You know, if you've got, um, and also people think, oh, you know, like essential oils are natural. But sometimes if you've got a really sensitive skin, essential oils can be really kind of, they can really kind of affect your skin. Even though I love essential oils and I, I love using essential oils, but they can. So just go easy on that. What you think might be a really natural product and might be amazing for your skin. It might actually be full of very active natural ingredients. So um, you just want to go for something gentle for, if you've got, if you suffer from rosacea and things like that, you really want to keep that down ahead of your wedding. So there's yeah. lots of things you can add in. There's lots of specialist, like there's some companies, IS Clinicals, um, Environ. There's this amazing brand called S, which I use with a lot of clients and they've got a probiotic serum and they've got amazing clinical studies of people using that serum and it really sort of treating rosacea incredibly. Really? And it's a very natural brand, but it's not natural over fragranced over you know it's um, using probiotics so many people suffer from rosacea rosacea yeah. sorry or even on the wedding day they find out when they get nervous they get really flushed and things like yeah. that yeah so i'm just know. melting here because i'm so hot i'll That's tell so you what else is really fabulous um oh. i just got it out now i have to find it another thing that people always complain about is pigmentation yep. so i hope my tickets aren't all sticking out <laughs> pigmentation this is a really and this is again from skin better science it's an american brand professional brand this is a really good treatment i'm using this at the moment because i've got a couple of pigmentation patches here and here yep. and this is their even tone correcting serum now a lot of people might be familiar with hydroquinone which lightens and bleaches the skin but that is an ingredient which it's kind of frowned upon because mm -hmm. it's not necessarily safe for the skin where this has got um, a selection of ingredients that work really well to lighten pigmentation and to help push it's more about pushing it back because um, you can't completely get rid of it but you can definitely lighten it and kind of push it back into into the skin I mean it's more technical than that but just in layman's yeah, yeah, yeah. terms and um, there's, there's Sandy hi Sandy uh -huh. um, so yeah so this is really good they're even tone corrector serums so use that day and night mm -hmm. and an SPF and, and tell me SPF so I've been getting a lot of creams recently where sometimes the SPF is in the cream or they sell a separate cream and sun cream, and it can end up being quite expensive. Because yeah, I what do you personally suggest separate okay. all together. So I love. So I've got makeup all over because I was just doing makeup, <laughs> like testing colours. Um, I personally like to use um, a separate SPF because if it's in a foundation, or it's just generally not enough. So just think of it as like a bonus if you've got your SPF and your foundation and your SPF and then your foundation on top. Um, so I would always have a separate SPF. You can get some really good ones that are tinted. So the Helio Care, 
I've just seen my friend Asha, she's just joined. She's got the Helio Care. She started yes. on that. Um, and yeah, you can, you can get some amazing SPFs now that are oil free. They're not going to clog the skin up. I'm just showing, this is another really nice one. I just put this, I'm sorry, I'm so hot because I'm in the shed and I've got to shut the door, otherwise the kids come in. Um, <laughs> this is a sheer refining fluid, so there's lots of different options. And you know when you put your sun cream on over the top of your moisturiser, is how long do you have to wait before the moisturiser set in? Because I'm, I'm always thinking, well, is that going to ruin the moisturiser you're Yeah, I would or? just give it, give it, as long as you can really. I mean... Yeah as long as a life allow leave it you don't want it to be too greasy but just leave it as long as you can yeah, and yeah. um i was going to say something else oh yeah and if your skin's quite oily then you can get mattifying sbs yeah. as she's saying she loves it um <laughs> and um so murad do a really good pore control i think it's called sbf i've given that to yeah. my husband and i think that's 45 factor 45 so i think it's just a case of looking around but like learning what Getting, asking, like just discovering what kind of skin you've got. Like not, not just thinking you had sensitive skin 10 years ago, she got sensitive skin. Because the amount of people that always tell me they've got sensitive skin and they actually don't. Yeah, Either yeah, they're yeah. using the wrong products or they've got the right products and not using them properly. Mm -hmm. Or their skin sensitized. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so it just really, it just that's the first thing. And then once you know that, then you can start adding products in. And don't buy like 10 and use them all at once because you're not going to know what's working or yeah, you're not going to know if you're allergic to one or whatever. So, um, and also try samples, you know, like get, I work with Get Harley. So when I say I work with them, I do my skin consultations um, through Get Harley. It's a professional platform that dermatologists and doctors and skincare professionals use. And I have a virtual shelf there. So I basically all the, I have access to all the products that I can give really tailored advice, but they're great because they'll send out samples and you know it's really good to try things to see when how you get on with it. When we this little video on the blog, we'll give you all Nat's details so that if you do want a skin kind of consultation, then you can come directly to her and get one. Now, I'm Nat, to tell spray. me, I'm always wanting to know. You know, like at night time or in the morning when you put the cream on, what mm. kind of little facial massages can we just do for ourselves, just to kind of wake ourselves up or put the cream in properly? Yeah, well, I've actually just I've got a. Um, you can put a link to a Facebook group I've got because I've also. I've got quite a lot of massages in there. And I'm also doing a masterclass on the 28th of May, which is a lifting massage masterclass. Yeah. But just things that like, I've just put some eye cream here. So you want to just generally really help to work with your lymphatics. So just remember, if you're doing very light strokes outwards, I'm your lymphatic this. system, you want to almost just do like gentle stroking movements. So just very gentle from the center working out. So you've got your go to your temples and you've got lymph nodes here. So you want to drain and then down the neck. So you've got to, so think of lymph as draining outwards and down and very light feather strokes. So very, I'd say even lighter than what you're doing or little tapping. Tapping movement. feels good. Oh, I love little, little raindrops. It's great for circulation. Ooh. And then if you want to do more lifting, then you can really like work on the muscles. So a lot of people have tension in the center of their face, so bringing it forward. So what you want to do is lift and release. So just spend a little time like lifting, working outwards, working from the center outwards or from... And is it good to do this in the morning or at night time? Either or. Either, Either or. or, really, yeah, just when you have time to do it. I think a lot of people are quite um, uh, kind of not used to touching this part of the skin because yeah. oh, make sure you don't drag it or pat it. Yeah, no, which is why um, you would just do, say, the orbit bone you could do. And also you're doing very light movements. But this tends to be where people get puffy. So you want to drain, but the movements are literally gentle like this. And also you use, you use your ring fingers because this has the least amount of pressure. Mm. And so, yeah. Good tips. So again, we'll be putting the link through to Natch Virtual Skin School, which is on Someone the... said about a face roller. Um, yeah. Face rollers, um, do you mean like the rose? Like the jade? Roller? Yeah, yes, I mean, there's loads of those. Those are great for kind of really cool and refreshing if you keep it in the fridge it's really nice because it's really ice does cold does it actually do anything though well i think it it does boost your circulation it does it does you can really get some nice movements with it you can do some very light lymphatic drainage so you can work from the center and work out so yeah very soothing and you know if you've got a sensitive skin or suffer from rosacea if that's kept in a fridge and then you roll it on your face yeah. Ooh, lovely it's lovely you know, I just thought, oh, I could just do it now because I'm so bloody hot in this room. <laughs> Christ. You need a full body roller. I know. I should talk about primers then to, to close, yes. really, because yes. I'm boiling here and I can show yes. you how this actually works. Palace. So 
this is probably I, every client I work with before they do, if I, ever they do the Graham Norton show, they're on Graham Norton for about two or three hours when they're filming it. So I know whatever I put on them, they can't look shiny. I can't touch them up and I have to say of all the primers in the world, this one is amazing. And That's this is what I use. That. <laughs> of all the primers in the whole wide world. All the primers in the world. Um, but they do different ones for different skin types. But I just find this universally is amazing for your T-zone. And because I'm so hot now, yeah, I'm just going to pat it on. And it's very smoothing. It helps with pores, um, like just smoothing over everything. And I tend to use a mattifying primer down the T-zone. Yeah. And then I like to use something glowy on the outer part of the face i've got a couple here which i i brought in here now where did i put the other one um i love this one this is the elemis this is a very nice primer mm. so i'll put that on the outer part of my face um or you could put it everywhere and then just put the mattifying one over the top of your makeup if you want depends how shiny you get oh, and also over the top of your makeup i thought it went underneath it does go under, but if you're using a mattifying one, you can press, once you've done all your makeup, you can put it on, do your makeup. Like I've got makeup on and I've just pressed it. I'm not I rubbing, I'm just that. pressing. And then another one that I absolutely adore for the most incredible glow is Sizzly Instant Glow Primer. Gosh, anything from Sizzly is amazing. I know, oh, it's just so nice. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, really lovely. And mm. yeah, I could just go on and on and on and on. And actually I've been trying this, I know we're not talking foundation today, but just as yeah. a side note, Go I got on. sent this to try and this is such if you like a, a slightly heavier coverage that still looks natural and flawless when it's on and it's long lasting this is great for brides is heavier charlotte coverage tilbury? charlotte tilbury is a heavier coverage though i love charlotte tilbury makeup i have to say it just me too everything from her so what we're going to do is i'm going to put all of these products in a list with a little description. I'm gonna get Nat to take a photo of everything on her desk now so that I can uh, list it up for you. And we'll put this video up on the blog. Nat, thanks so much. Oh, thanks, it's lovely to, to lovely to see you. And lovely and... to see you, my doll. And I will speak to you yeah. very soon. Someone just quickly said, are they new yeah. foundations? No, I don't think this is. I think this is just the airbrush flawless one. So What color is that one in? The one that I'm wearing is cool, number two. And actually this is a brilliant color for me. Because that's the other thing, it's all about colour matching. Yeah, which is quite difficult to do when you're not in the store. Yeah. Soon. Soon we'll be back. Yeah. Bye, bye love. Bye.